Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm sitting here thinking through the storage buy and like a lot of that stuff is going to be not a lot of money. And I'm like, but it's still a good buy and I'm trying to think why. What I can tell you that makes it make sense to buy something like that and something that I was just thinking about is a lot of my videos you watch me go into Goodwill spend two hours come out with on average like let's say 16 things because that was the math that I did when I figured out what I wanted to say uh, that take that is seven and a half minutes per item um, and so if I'm doing if it takes me seven and a half minutes to find an item to make money on then um, two hours gets me 16 items and I make, you know, we, it feels like I often come out to between 250 and $300 on what I think I'm going to make when I do that. The, this buy was, took me an hour, maybe an hour and a half. I put an hour in because I was thinking of just the time that we spent sourcing the stuff on the day we picked it up. Filling the truck out of the storage unit took about an hour um, of just real lazy Levi doing one box at a time and me and the guy talking about life in general um, and, you know, going through stuff. And he had some other stuff that he hadn't had listed yet and uh, whether I wanted to take that stuff too. Uh, and so let's say there was an hour of work, including the time we went and spent 10 minutes uh, making the deal that we then came back and I got the stuff and he got the money. Um, that, that turns out to be like seconds. It was 0.15, something like nine seconds per item. And if I'm sourcing items at nine seconds, an item, then my per hour rate is so much higher that I can afford to be less picky and just take it all. And that I'm not going to invest a bunch of time into all of those items. But when I'm, when I'm getting a, an item for nine seconds, an item for every nine seconds that I'm there, I'm going to, it makes more sense than the way that I want to, when I'm spending seven and a half minutes an item in Goodwill, making sure that I'm getting quality things with a high sell through, the, the amount of time. So it takes me 50 times longer to source an item at Goodwill than it does at uh, to source an item at buying a bulk lot from somebody. And so that factors into it too, in the ease of getting the stuff. I spent an hour on a Saturday instead of two hours during the week that I could be doing other things. What are you doing, pretty girl? Having a sip of water. What are you doing, crazy guy? All right, so I'm going to... Go you're going to go outside and play basketball? I'm going to go outside and list some of this stuff that I got. But I was just thinking about why the bulk makes better sense. And it, it, a lot of it has to do with it took me nine seconds an item instead of seven and a half minutes an item. Literally 50 times longer to buy an item at Goodwill on average um, than... And that's not data back. That's just anecdotally kind of where I feel like I'm at after having done this for a long time. Uh, guessing on what my average is. And the cost of goods is so much lower. At a dollar a piece rather than... I would say I'm at an average of 7 or $8 at Goodwill per item. But the profit's going to be a lot lot better per item. Uh, but I, I think bulking this stuff out at the huge rate, it's an economy of scale. That's the buzz term for it, The econ is that it's the economy of the scale makes it make sense. But I just I kind of want to just touch on that because... I was sitting here thinking about, was that a good buy? Did I buy just a bunch of crap that's not going to sell? Why do I feel like it was good? And I, But a lot of that stuff isn't stuff I would necessarily pick up at Goodwill. And while the a dollar a piece makes sense, 
Uh, that isn't the only thing because uh, there's stuff that I leave for a dollar at all kinds of garage sales. And I don't just pick up everything that I see for a dollar because it's worth picking up for a dollar. But I did take every dollar from that guy, every dollar item from that guy. And why? Why does it make sense? And it's for the most part, it's an economy of scale and the time that it takes makes more sense. So it's a beautiful day. It's a little bit windy. I have one box here on this table and it's reasonably well lit. I've got this thing. So I'm taking stuff out of this box, setting it down, taking a picture of it and then putting it over here. And then when everything's over there and I put it back in that box, which is the stage that I'm at right now where I've gotten everything back into this box. We went and celebrated some birthday with some family and I did, I took all these pictures before we left and then well, mostly on the van ride, uh, 45 minutes one way, 45 minutes the other. I got all that stuff listed. And of course the first thing that sold is that white thing on the bottom. And remember I'm a dollar a piece into these things so I'm pricing them to sell. Lego, Easter, I put this at the lowest one on the market and it sold in an hour for $8.50 free shipping. I'm a dollar into it and it got me a sale and a conversion pretty quickly. This I paid a dollar for and it is Aldi 2023 like a backpack brand new with the tags on it and it sold for $20 free shipping. This bullet that Levi, I got this from Goodwill. It has somebody else's address on it. Um, we pay, Levi found this, it was $8 and 11 cents and I brought it home, tested it. And within three or four days of being listed, sold for 40 bucks. So as you can see, this box says five on it. I'm gonna put it over here and I'll show you that the pictures uh, of the items all have that five in them so that when I excels, I can just know that they're in that box because I took a picture of that box. I'm gonna grab this box that's triple E and do the same thing again. You guys will probably remember picking up Greg the Zombie uh, on a family Goodwill trip like two months ago. Well, he finally sold for $43 free shipping. I thought we were gonna do better than that on him, but after he didn't sell for a while, I repriced him and I was too high. Uh, heart, intestines go in the belly, and then his eyes pop out and his brain comes apart, and it's a really neat thing. Into the shop. Yep. And we have sold out of American Girl Doll books. These both went to the same address, different buyer accounts, different names. One of them was zero, uh, zero buyer, zero feedback. I suspect somebody like found them while they were searching and uh, like Google searching for them and bought them as a guest and then went into my store and paid with their normal account after they were logged in instead of buying them from Google, a Google search or something like that. But uh, those both sold $24.99 a piece. So the buyers all in at 50, but I do have to send them separately, even though they're going to the same address, but uh, technically they're going to different buyers. Presto parts for that salad shooter. This sold for $11 free shipping, but I picked those up for $3 and lots of parts sell for 11 or $12. These were, I think, on the rack at Helping Hands, which would have made them like 350. They sold for 15.29, plus shipping on an offer. This record is sealed and it's of Everett Dirksen, the most famous guy from Pekin, Illinois, who uh, was a senator and the Peoria International Airport's named after him. That, I listed that for 650. I didn't, like, I'm not a big fan of the conspiracy theory that eBay changed my listing to free shipping. I sure don't remember that, listing that as free shipping. I remember listing it low, but either it got switched or I accidentally listed it free shipping, but I would think at 650 free shipping, it would have sold a long time ago, took a long time to sell, and it sold for 650 free shipping. This thing sold for not very much. I got it like two years ago for 50 cents in a pile of 50 cent vintage electronics. I don't know what this thing is, but uh, it is a vintage part of a computer from the 80s. And I knew that it would sell to someone eventually. 
sold for 975 plus shipping this guy is part of my business policy that says if it's a vintage toy it and it requires a ripcord and it has the ripcord pay whatever they're asking because it's probably worth it i got i paid eight dollars for this on whatnot and it sold for 26 dollars in about a week all you do is you pull that cord this thing spins and he stays upright and moves around it's pretty simple it's not any ip you've ever heard of it's just tommy toys from the japan in the uh early 80s and that's an unfortunate placement on his ripcord vintage horror vhs tapes always sell for something these two sold for 650 plus shipping for the pair i'm about 33 cents into these because i bought uh a bunch and came up to 33 cents whatever it was so this is the last thing i think i paid four dollars for this on whatnot country music hall of fame y2k tag xl and that's going to a buyer in argentina so as long as i can get it to glendale heights illinois i can wash my hands of it i probably paid four dollars for it a year and a half ago and it sold for on an offer today for ten dollars plus shipping so not a great pickup but i mean if i told you i paid four dollars for that you'd probably know it wasn't a good pickup but i was testing the waters on whatnot and i was not doing a great job we have one item that sold overnight and it's from the store buyout. It is a set of wheel locks sold for $19 free shipping. So now I gotta put all this stuff in boxes. So we are at Goodwill and I don't need anything, but uh, you know, I bought somebody's store and I've only listed 20 of the 450 items. But I, uh, this is, has proven to be prime. Yep. Yeah. This has proven to be prime Goodwill shopping time monday morning so we're gonna go in and see if we can find any bangers see if we can find anything that's really good but we're not taking mediocre because we have lots of mediocre oh and you've got a boo-boo on the playground Mwah! okay i don't know if this one's any good but buffy the vampire slayer can definitely do well and at a dollar 84 that's a good price and angel is a spin-off series that might also be well. That's like half of the price of their normal DVD box sets. So I'm tempted to get all those charmed too. I have never seen this before. This is Ninja branded. Eight eleven, definitely worth throwing in the cart. Looks like it's probably a coffee maker. Nice carafe on it. So my suspicion is the carafe is worth enough to buy the whole thing, but it might also just be good too. This does not look like the kind of thing I normally would buy. It's huge and it's very heavy. And it's very dirty on the inside. I don't know anything about it. Sounds like she's either leaving with an old cart or coming up with a new one. Walking away with one. So this meets most of my parameters. Like it's $5.60 and it's a Ninja branded and it has some accessories and it has over 100% sell through rate. And it would probably be like four or five times my money but it stinks it's going to take a long time to clean up it's really heavy so i'm going to leave it these used to do spectacularly well with mid-century modern stuff i can't imagine that this cork lamp isn't going to do pretty well still even with the uh spider nest in it go ahead caller knows what i'm talking about I don't think Evelyn saw this thing. Did you miss this thing? Ooh, the Great Hall 3D puzzle. $7, I can't buy a $7 puzzle if it's been opened. I would buy this for $7 if it was sealed. I would buy it for three if it were, and give it a shot. Because I believe my wife and Asher would have a really fun time putting it together, not because I believe that it's, uh, worth anything these squishmallows are not marked up that one's not anyway this one might be 310 but like this sun one oh his 310 this guy the twizzler one is not and this easter egg one is not oh and this like tangerine one also not i don't really tend to do well with those Oh, here's another the Weasley home. 
Yeah, I really wish I knew that those were all there because they would be cool to have. So this kind of thing, like $40, $50 for that. It's worth a fortune. And especially to a family that needs it. And so like people want to hate on resellers for buying, stealing things from poor people who are in need of stuff and need to be able to buy it cheap. That Goodwill should not put this on the floor. That should go somewhere where somebody knows somebody that needs it and it can be given to them. I, for something like this, I blame Goodwill for being the problem on that. Why are they not, like this is not something that a person is gonna come in and hate. And here's a whole bunch more Squishmallows. That one's got the tag on it. Her name's Jamie. And I know enough to, to stay away from a lot of these kind of golf clubs unless they're like metal handled. But I looked up all three of these putters and even at $1.84 and $3, they're not worth messing with. Uh, this is $3.10, I think. And that's an old Spalding ball catcher. Comes a new cart of stuff. How about on clouds for 16 bucks? And this thing and a boom mic stand. Let's see. Make sure there's nothing else we gotta have on this care cart. And I'm gonna look up what this thing is. So there's quite a few games here that are say chrome cranium on them. Yeah, cranium. If you can find cranium caribou, it's worth a fortune. Three dollars and ten cents for Last Kids on Earth. Books one, two, three, four, and five. Did you get anything at the store, Evelyn? Yeah. <laughs> Did you get a Pikachu dress? Uh-huh. With Pikachu on it. And you got a Daniel Tiger DVD. So we were in there for right at an hour and we spent $75. We got one, two, three, four, five items to live. Now, depending on what happens with the coffee maker and the mixer thing, I may end up with more listings. And about these three items to keep. So we're back at the house and um, not like completely discounting that I spent money on three things for the house. Well, one for me, one for Evelyn and two things for the house. Um, so I spent $75 in an hour and I, that is... 10 minutes per item and $12.50 per item. Uh, but the profit on those items should be really, really good. Like the carafe for that uh, Ninja coffee maker sells for $45. And I think there are none listed. Yeah. So then if I can get anything at all out of the other parts, then we're really in business. But it'll be worth eight into 45 for something that should sell in a couple of days and be as easy to ship as a coffee carafe. Pretty cool. Yeah.